Yeah, look, we've obviously so much to play for. You know, I thought, I think we all agree we had a genuine, uh, <coughs> a genuine semi-final position open on the ladder with with where we sat and you know with where we're at. So the first half is obviously uh, probably a reflection of why I me and the boss honestly come to the solution we come to last week. You would have hoped that that announcement would have sparked a bit of a response. Oh, look, response look, when. When you're in these situations, we've been in the coaching game a long time and playing game for a long time. And when, when you get to the, I suppose, the end of the road sort of thing is um, with where I'm at, yeah. When me and the boss come to that sort of, I suppose, resolution we come to, you know, um, you're either going to get an outstanding performance or do you get a what we got in the first half, you know. And what we did in the first half was a long way beyond where that group of players can get to and uh, and it's obviously disappointing for lots of people. Did you think it might go that way? Did you get any I had no idea. No, the boys trained quite well on uh, on Wednesday and trained well uh, yesterday, but game day is a bit, you know, it's different. As I said, I, my feeling was it'll either be very good or not good at all, and that's what happens in these situations. Granny, I know you said on Wednesday that it wasn't going to be a distraction for the boys, but in hindsight... Oh, look, these, is there ever a great time for these? I've been in these situations for at the Dragons and when me and Dowsty, when Wayne wanted to go to the club, it was a pretty simple decision for me and Dowsty to make and we went on and made the finals and I left St Helens and we won a grand final. So it's just every situation's different and this current situation, you know, we got we got tonight, you know, so it's just it's unfortunate for, for a lot of people, fans, a lot of people, a lot of players... And then a lot of hard work a lot of people have put in and to get the result we got tonight is obviously or get the performance we got in the first half tonight. There was obviously second half there's a lot lot more, you know, a bit more commitment, a bit more effort, but the first half was as I said, yeah, it was it was disappointing for, for a lot of reasons, but it is what it is. No, nobody no, not at all. No, I don't feel that at all. You know, whenever I mean whenever you put a jumper on for any club, you know, the what the sort of I suppose you want to, when you run on the field and as a coaching group, staff, head coach, you know, you want your team to reflect, you know, what's happening. And, you know, there was a fair period this year where it was reflecting a lot of a lot of good things. And obviously the past sort of period has not been a great reflection. And and as I said, you know, it's there's, there's pretty clear tonight why me and Boss come to the situation that we did come to the other day. And, Tonight's performance is obviously a long way from where we needed to be and a, and a long way from where we should be as a group. You've said, you said, you said that a few times that it's a clear white guys came out to the green white. Is that they're not responding, not playing for each other? No, look, just, you know, it's just, you know, as I said, you know, me and the boss, we have some good, honest, open conversations and what we talk about, you know, people can speculate about if they like. It doesn't, you know, I'm sure... I'm sure Phil's not going to go and tell you some of the stuff, and I'm certainly not going to need, you know. But there's some, yeah. You know, we come to this situation because we thought that was the best thing for the club to move forward next year, and and you know, tonight was probably a bit of a reflection of it. Are you worried now that having served that up with everything to play for was nothing, you know, on the line for the next two weeks? Oh, look, I look, I'll, I'll have a good, honest conversation with the group, the leadership group, and and again, I'll have a good, honest conversation with Phil, and and we'll work through it as we should work through it, like adults and a good honest conversation and we'll resolve what we need to resolve but you know next week's old boys day and uh, I'd hope to think that we can come up with a fair bit better performance you know what did you say Brad? what did you, you just say you... I'd rather not talk about what we spoke about in there then if that's okay yeah we just had a quick conversation I'm not we're not going to be too critical of people after after that we can just have a good honest conversation with a few of the players and work our way through there was a suggestion um, no, different to a lot of normal weeks. I didn't go, I don't think I went out too early at all. No, I had a, just a you know, conversation. There wasn't a, you know, when you're in the situation and you're down 30 nil, you don't need to have a heap of words, it's not going to solve the problem you're in. Yeah, so it's only it was a reasonably short sort of conversation, but it was direct and to the point. Oh, look, if you said to me how it's ending, how it looks today, is that how you'd want it to look? No one would want that. But I'm really proud of what we've achieved at the Knights and where we were when we started. And I think the the next coach will be quite happy with where the squad's at. Um, 
and you know, with where the salary cap situation is, I think you'd be very, very happy. There's been a lot of people make a lot of sacrifices to get there. Sure, would have liked to have won tonight and then won next week and made the finals and had a bit of a shake at the finish. Sure, we would, but you know, life's not always like that. Oh, I thought he was terrific. If you put it all into uh, into the facts, but there, Rob, he's, he's 18. We're obviously badly beaten. Um, he's played one game of footy in six weeks. Off a, he come off an injury last week, so it's his second game in six weeks. Uh, and I thought he was very, very good. And for where he's at, I think, you know, I don't think there's going to be too many more. Well, I probably can't say that because I'm not going to be coaching him next year, but. I'm pretty confident the new coach will be very impressed with what he's got there and I think you'll see him uh, playing at the, the later starts of the day than, than you'll see earlier starts. So you, you think he'll play out the rest of the year in first grade? I would have thought so, Rob. I don't see any reason now why we would want to put him back and you know, with the situation and you know, no finals footy, there's maybe you know, one or two others that probably maybe should get an opportunity as well to, to get themselves ready for next year. The, those young kids just mentioned, who you sort of uh, staff had told if he was be, to be able to come through tomorrow Rob, and play well, I'd, you'd like to think you know, there was always a plan this year to get some game into him, but again, he's had some injuries. You know, uh, Jaira's starting to play some good footy, and he's a middle forward who's really starting to knock on the door. So there's a few guys there who, in, a, in an ideal world, uh, a game for him to get them ready for next year would be good, and they've certainly been playing some good footy in the, in the reserve grade. He had a few bumps down, he had a bit of a head knock and a cut and a bit of a rib problem. Not sure how to what extent.